Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. On this channel we have discussed many different topics, including topics that have a lot to do with how you feel after a breakup, relationship, or why you feel the way you do, when a girl that you kind of like doesn't pay attention to you, or when even you pass by, your uh, interactions are different, uh, between you and her, you are more of an um, extrovert in that way or you want to express um, more of an emotion or interest to her than she is and perhaps she's not interested, <laughs> right? <laughs> or if you are, if you have just gone through a breakup and your ex doesn't pay attention to you or the girl that you guys were having a relationship with and were having a good time, uh, things have changed or she has changed, or perhaps you have changed and she's not uh, willing to continue the relationship with you and uh, you are uh, suffering <laughs> or you think you should be suffering. Uh, all those emotions are making you feel devastated, uh, feel like you're not in control, you wonder why and you can't figure out and you come to the conclusion that she must be all that. She must be so amazing uh, that makes you want her so badly. Uh, the more she doesn't want you, the more you want her. And you remember all the memories you had with her and you wonder why is she, uh, if she's now changed and she's not um, complying with the same kind of a, a setup that you guys had and uh, make more memories together and so on uh, because you're still feeling that way, but she doesn't. All these questions come into your mind and you constantly keep thinking that it is her that you really, really want. It's because of her. She's so great. Everything about her, she's a goddess. And you make all these things because you have no answers. You don't know why you still want a girl who doesn't want you. What is it with it that the girl doesn't pay attention to you, doesn't want to be with you, has changed or never did want to be with you or never does care to be uh, with you or get to know you, but you still want her. So on that case, in that case, why could it be her that you want? Why could it be her the reason that you are so infatuated with her? How could it be? Are you in the habit of wanting things that don't pay attention to you or don't choose you, don't want to be with you? Is that how it works for a human being? Or is there something else at work? So let's discuss that. Perhaps it can help you to move out of this pit that you've parked in and catapult you out and get you on your way to happiness and uh, control on your emotions and uh, in, in search of that wonderful other uh, person that is out there looking for you and the partner that will be more suitable to you, the girl that you would really hit it off and find things in common, or if you're a girl or a boy, or whatever your relationship is. So, so let's try to understand why is it that you want a girl who doesn't want you or why is it they still want your ex when she's already changed her mind and she's moved on, she's broken up the relationship, uh, you've gone through a breakup, why is it that you still want your ex? Why is it that you want a girl who you pass by or somehow in your school or in your office or your workplace or whatever it is that you see another adult and uh, uh, she is not um, interested in you or pays attention to you or you would, but you still feel Ah, oh, it would be so good that you really want her. Why? What is it that you want when they don't want you? How could it be? That should be a disqualifier. You should want to be with someone who wants to be with you. But you still want that girl who doesn't pay attention to you. You still want the ex who's broken up with you and doesn't want to be with you. What's, what's in there other than what seems to be so clear to you and visible to you? What's the invisible thing? Let's talk about that. Because I believe if you understand these things, then you'll get to know a little bit more about your own psyche. And you, would, you would get to know about your own programming. You'll get to know about why. And the why, the knowledge, which is all inside your own head, but when it's explored, excavated, when it's unlocked, then you can move on to bigger and better things and find another. So, 
obviously you want that girl that you're interested in or you want uh, the ex that you have a relationship with because you feel good by being with her. But why do you feel good? Why feeling good is important? Why is it that you pursue something that feels good? Well, obviously, because the whole life, the purpose of our existence, your existence, the whole basis of this whole experience of life is on pleasure. It is the pleasure that motivates you to do anything that you do in this life. It is the feeling that you get from something pleasurable that makes you want to do that makes you want that, makes you want to pursue it, makes you want to accomplish it. It is a pleasure because the pleasure is the reason for everything that you do. Your whole life is based on pleasure. And when you see something that you like, it gives you a good feeling, then you're programmed in your genes that is programmed for you to seek that what gives you pleasure comes to work. And you pursue it. Now, in the, in the case of the girls, in the case of the ex, in the case of someone that you become infatuated with, is it the ex that you want? The ex doesn't want you. How could you want someone who is not doing anything for you, or not showing any interest, or not interested in you by her actions? You can see that. How could you want it? Because you have this memory of the pleasurable things that she meant to you, the pleasurable experiences that you had with her. But through her, you experience pleasure. And pleasure is what your whole life is based on, is the whole motivation of you wanting things. And that pleasure is that what you found in a relationship with her. You see her not as who she is, how she is, what she can do. You see a woman, you see your ex, you don't see them, the entirety of them. You see them as a representation of a pleasure. Pleasure that makes you feel good to be with them, to talk with them, uh, be their companion, uh, do things with them, go on outings with them, experience life with them, or uh, converse with them, have sex with them, be intimate with them, and so on and so forth. The pleasure is what you are triggered uh, through them, uh, through seeing them, uh, through knowing that that is where you can actually attain pleasure. So it is the pleasure that you're pursuing. It is the pleasure that you see them as. You don't see the entirety of them. What do you know about them? The ex, maybe you know some things about, but really you, mostly, most of the things that you knew about her was physical and interaction of um, uh, things about mechanical process, the things that you were doing together, the order that you had created together in that relationship, how things were, and you've gotten used to that. But really, did you know about her consciousness? Did you know anything about what makes her tick? Did you know about her reaction or her understanding of fear? What are her desires? How does desire operate in her? What is her ego level? What does that stand for? How did that come about? Did you know anything about that sort of stuff? The experiences that she was exposed uh, in, in her life to? No. Only thing you know is that she represents a certain kind of pleasure, which is the highest kind of pleasure uh, for a man, uh, for a heterosexual man uh, that, who loves woman, then the pleasure that he sees in her is the highest kind of pleasure. Therefore, that's all you see. The representation of pleasure is what you see in her. But you don't know her. And the woman that you pass by in the store or in the street, and or you said hello, or on the bus, or in your office, or in your school, uh, in your university, and you're infatuated with her. But she doesn't really care, or she doesn't see you, or she has a different taste. But you still want her. What do you know about her? You don't know anything about her, but you still want her. You pursue her. You think she's all that. She's better than you. She's the goddess. She's everything that you ever wanted. Why? How? How did you get to know about that much about her that you decide she's everything you wanted in, in life? It's because you see and you're programmed to know there's a certain extraordinary pleasure that could be achieved uh, through interaction with her. So is it her that you're really interested in and pursuing, infatuated with or is the pleasure itself, the program of pleasure? If you understand that it is the pleasure that you want through them, through interaction, relationship with them, then you will separate the girl and the pleasure. 
you will see it clear. Because what is she bringing to your table other than what you think she will, which is the experience of pleasure? What? Is she going to make you wiser? Is she the reason for you to be smarter, more educated? Is she the most compassionate person that is helping humanity and curing the common cold and compassionate and helpful to all children and all old uh, women and men who need help and are in, in, in trouble or in pain? Uh, can she cure them? Can she heal them? Does she do that? Does she help with the, the quality of uh, life in, on earth? Is she really that wise? Is she bringing all that? Or is she paying your rent? Is she making you become a person of uh, such compassionate person, a humanitarian, because she is all that? Or is it because you think and believe that's where your pleasure resides? Uh, through her, you can reach that pleasure. So is it the pleasure that you want, or is it really her? Do you know enough about her that you want her? Or do you know only enough to know that you can reach a certain kind of pleasure uh, through her. So is it the pleasure that you want or is it her that you want? Is it the pleasure that you want or is it her that you want? If you separate this, because you would want her if you know everything about her, if you really focus on who she is. But if you don't and you still want her, so is it not the pleasure that you want? If you understand that and separate these two, then you can understand that you can be in control. But the reason you want her is in here. Is it because of your programming? Not because of she's all that. Not because of her. You don't have to be devastated that she is the last wonderful and suitable woman for you. And you can turn your head towards other possibilities, other wonderful women out there, and pursue to get to know them, find things in common, see if you guys can hit it off and go where it takes you. So in fact, what you really think that is not paying attention to you, dissing you, or you've lost, it's not paying attention to you, it's not interested in you, is pleasure. This is why it makes you so devastated and so uncomfortable, so sad and, uh, and feel like a loser when a girl doesn't pay attention to you or when the ex doesn't want to come back to you or someone that you, um, you know, are cordial or, you know, you're interested to get to know her, she doesn't uh, reciprocate. It's not that you think, oh, she didn't pay attention to you. You think pleasure turned her head away from you. Because you think pleasure is everything that you exist for. And the fact that you could get pleasure through her and she's not paying attention to it. And you think uh, through her you get pleasures. Then therefore you think she's a representation of pleasure. And then you think it's the pleasure that dissed you. It's the pleasure that doesn't want you denied you from that connection is the pleasure not that it is just another person when you separate these two then you will know that pleasure didn't diss you pleasure is still out there and you, the most one of the most important things in your life and what your life is based on pleasure is still possible and still out there and in abundance for you and then you will be able to handle that much better than just thinking oh pleasure turn her head away from me and that's not the case Focus on the fact that your programming about pleasure is what entices you and encourages you to go after the girl who doesn't pay attention to you. Because obviously if she was the right girl for you, she would pay attention to you. You guys would be together. And remember, pleasure makes you feel good. But not everything that makes you feel good is good for you. Pleasure is something people pursue because it makes them feel good. They're programmed to look for pleasure, to feel good. That's the whole basis of their life is all about. That's why some people go try different things that gives them pleasure. Even some go for alcohol, the things that are really not good for you, or drugs, because they get certain kind of pleasure. But not everything that makes you feel good, like excess alcohol or drugs, is good for you. Not everything that gives you pleasure and makes you feel good is also good for you. It is up to you to understand and choose what pleasure to pursue and what not. And often or sometimes, the girl that you're pursuing is not the pleasure that is good for you. So therefore, that tells you everything you want to know. You should turn your head away and go toward the kind of relationship that is mutual, reciprocating, and also good for you. Focus.
focus on the kind of pleasure that are good for you in life, including your relationships. And not every pleasure that makes you feel good is good for you. Hope that will be something for you to think about and help you to get you on your way and understand how things are. Separate the girl and the pleasure and understand the entirety of the whole picture that you're looking at and be wise enough to move on and go on your merry way and find your happiness with someone suitable and some other situation that makes you wiser, smarter, and more in control of your life. Be good to yourself and to the others. I'll talk to you soon.